Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is John and this is your Modern Tech Breakdown. Today I'm looking at some very interesting comments from the CEO of Salesforce about AI and what that means for SaaS products generally. Let's jump into it. So I started off thinking about this when I saw this rather telling statement from Mark Benahoff, the CEO of Salesforce. Here's a clip. Number one, we're doing our business plan for next year for 2025 right now. And we're not adding any more software engineers next year because we have increased the productivity this year with Agent Force and with other AI technology that we're using for our engineering teams by more than 30% to the point where our engineering velocity is incredible. I can't believe what we're achieving in engineering. And then we will have less support engineers next year because we have an agentic layer. We'll have more salespeople next year because we need to really explain to everybody exactly the value that we can achieve with AI. So we will add another probably one to 2,000 salespeople in the short term. Now, what is interesting is that here we have a CEO basically saying development has gotten cheaper for us on a per unit basis. That's basically what a productivity gain means. We can now build more software with the same team and the same cost. Now, typically, when you see the cost of a resource go down, you see the use of it go up. But apparently, that's not true at Salesforce. You would think that a tech company that has recently found major productivity gains would probably use that capability even more. For example, if aviation fuel got cheaper, you might see airlines begin to offer new routes that weren't viable before, which would in turn use more of the resource. So this got me thinking, what is really going on here? I'm not sure I buy this story from Mark here, so I didn't have to look very long. Here is a telling comment from Hacker News about this statement from the Salesforce CEO. Now, I don't know who this user is, but I believe what they're saying is true. I think Salesforce might be in trouble over the long haul, I think Mark is a clever guy here, and with one short statement, he can generate some free press, he can highlight his company's AI product, while simultaneously hiding the fact that Salesforce has instituted a hiring freeze. It's a genius move, actually. Uh, but for Salesforce, their business isn't going to die, and it isn't going to disappear overnight, but I think the long-term prospects of the CRM business don't look as good as they used to. If you can get a dev team to build you a custom UI over your data in an affordable rate, and now you can stop paying license fees, suddenly the economic decision of build versus buy just changed, and building your own system is more attractive than it was. And you know, there's some, someone else that is thinking along these same lines. Here is Satya Nadala, the CEO of Microsoft, making the same point. Here's a clip. The SaaS applications or biz apps, so let me just speak of our own dynamics thing. Right. The approach at least we're taking is, I think the notion that business applications exist, that's probably where they'll all collapse, right, in the agent era. Because if you think about it, right, they are essentially CRUD databases with a bunch of business logic. The business logic is all going to these agents. And these agents are going to be multi-repo CRUD, right? So they're not going to discriminate between uh, what the back end is. They're going to update multiple databases and all the logic will be in uh, the AI tier, so to speak. Um, and once the AI tier becomes the place where all the logic is, then people will start replacing the back ends, right? So yeah, I think AI has definitely dimmed the prospects of CRM a bit and other SaaS products. And honestly, I don't buy what Mark Benioff is selling here anyways. I think he's spinning, which is kind of a part of the job of a CEO anyways. But time's going to tell. Once it was popular to say that software will eat the world, maybe now it's AI will eat the world. Uh, but what do you think the impact of AI is going to be on Salesforce and other SaaS products? Leave a comment down below. As always, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you next time.